What's up guys? It's your girl Alex Dane with two eyes and today I'm here with Brie again. Oh, big surprise! <laughs> Brie's always on my channel, you guys already know. A but plus B. A plus B. A plus B. You already know. <laughs> But before we get into the video, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn post notifications, and subscribe because we're on the road to a thousand. But today, <laughs> today we are talking about why we're homeless for the weekend. Mm -hmm. But first, we're just gonna show you some food we all we're gonna like eat with you guys. Da 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 da. You can eat with us. <laughs> you can eat with us. Yeah. But we have some pizza here. We're gonna split, and then we have some Caesar salad. So. We're gonna be eating that and we're gonna explain why we're homeless for the weekend. You know, yeah. uh, we have a whole moving disaster story disaster. for you guys. Okay, so basically, Brianna is moving. Yeah. Okay, she has one condo, condo A. And old she's one? The old condo now. Yeah. And now she's in condo B, so that's yeah. the new condo. So, you know, Condo B had some, it's very modern, very beautiful, but Condo B very did have new. some, it's very, very new. It's an extreme new build. So it's really nice, but it did have some red flags from the start when Brianna went to tour it, so. There are only two elevators working, and then I come to find out yesterday, it's been like that for the past five months. Nobody knows when they're being fixed. I'm like, what? I thought this was only like a month long problem. I'm like, no, it's like almost a year, half a year. I'm like, so guys, there's like 50 floors and two elevators out of four work. And so one of them's a moving elevator. Okay, so there's two elevators. One of them's a moving elevator, one of them's regular. So the moving elevator basically just has like a bunch of like padding and like moving blankets on the elevator so you don't scratch it up, like you don't mm -hmm. ruin it. It's meant to like be banged up a bit. So the moving elevator, I tried to book it to move in and they're like, no, it's booked the entire day. You can't book it, please mm -hmm. like move in another day. I'm like, what? My lease is up, like I'm moving yeah. in whether you like it or not. We chose, I say we guys because we do everything together. It, yeah. Like, I stay at her condo literally like probably like three to four times a week mm -hmm. and I'm like her interior designer, her mm -hmm. real estate agent, everything. So I say we, but it's really Brie's condo. Yeah. So anyways, so yeah, like Brie was saying, one of the two elevators are for moving so it has the pads all around and whatnot so you don't scratch it up. Oh, also. But it was all booked. Yeah. Also moving elevator, you're kind of like, it's stuck on the ground floor until it goes up to your floor. Like it doesn't go up and down like a normal elevator. So only one person can use it. Mm. So there's three people moving in at the same time, but none of us could use moving elevator except for the one person who booked the elevator. And you guys don't understand, like the lineup wrapped around the lobby, everyone had huge suitcases, huge furniture, and regular people were trying to get in and out of the condo building with 50, 50 something floors. It was intense. So anyways, that was already a red flag that there was only two to four elevators working. They haven't, the other two haven't been fixed for five months. And then, Brie went to book moving elevators and she couldn't book them and they were telling her to move in another day. No, we were booked. We're moving. I'm July like, I'm 2nd. moving. My lease is up. I have to move. I can't. Yeah. Like, I'm not homeless. I'm moving. Yeah, well, so, we're, hom well we're homeless well. now. <laughs> we made it work. Okay. Anyway, so that was just red flag, red flag, red flag. July 2nd rolls around. And that is the date Brie and I chose to move. My friend has an SUV and she was so like so nice to help me move this entire day. So mm -hmm. it was just Alex, my friend, and myself moving me. That's mm -hmm. what we did, guys. Like <laughs> mm -hmm. last time, we had our two guy friends help us move. And a U-Haul. And a U-Haul, and it was just way easier, you know. Way easier. They're pretty strong. And oh like, yeah, they're guys, they're stronger than me. Like and they were just super effective. Like they honestly put in that work. Like yeah. they moved us so easily. They were like, this is so easy. But yeah. like we don't have a lot of stuff because Brie was just moving her room. So basically, yeah. the rules were, my friends and I, we were loading the SUV, we were taking it back and forth, Alex was running all the errands for me, like she's oh. still putting that work, we just like different levels, like different mm -hmm. areas. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I was basically Brie's personal shopper because there wasn't really much Brie and her friend needed from me because I'm not that strong, so heavy lifting wise, I couldn't really help them out. So yeah, so I went, it was like Brie's personal shopper. I went yeah. to Home Sense, and Shoppers, and just got all the basics and like decoration stuff. I was dying with the bags. So guys, yeah. I was putting the work. My arms were red. Da, yeah. da, da, da. No, she put in the work. But whatever. So moving my stuff from condo A to condo B was a disaster because we get there and take in. There's only two elevators. One of them's reserved moving elevator. So everyone from 50 floors is using one elevator. Myself and and then two other people are moving in using the regular elevator as well. We're all sharing this one elevator. None of us can use trolleys. We're using shopping carts. We're dragging boxes in. It was such a disaster. I carried a shopping cart downstairs because I didn't want to wait. <laughs> I, I was waiting for an elevator for 15 minutes. I'm like, my friend, I'm like, we can carry this downstairs. It wasn't that many split flights of stairs. Yeah. We did it. I got bruises, scratches, yeah. but like I did it. I carried yeah. the shopping cart down the stair. And then when we get to the like condo B, I realize AC is not working. There's no electricity. None of the utilities are working. 
I'm like, what is going on? I filled out all the paperwork. I called every number I could. I emailed absolutely everyone. Basically, this company, you can't reach them at all. It's impossible. The condo buildings, utilities, are third is party. done by a third party. So, of course, a hot mess. But we had no electricity, no AC. We couldn't charge our phones or anything. We couldn't charge our phones or anything. So, we obviously couldn't stay overnight at the new condo, Condo yeah. B. We just, we needed electricity because we yeah. couldn't have our phones dying when we were moving all weekend and had people we needed to contact. We just had to get a bunch of stuff done and we couldn't. So we were like, uh -oh, We can't stay here. Where do we stay? We don't have, we can't stay in Condo A. We can't stay in, in Condo, condo B. B. We couldn't go back to Alex's house because we had to come back the next day to Toronto to Condo B for all my furniture deliveries because it was all big furniture from Ikea and I had to be there, had to let them in. So it was like, we couldn't go there for like, like a couple hours and come back in the morning. And yeah. a bunch of our friends were like, oh, you can stay at our place. Like you can stay here, blah, blah, blah. But like, we like to be comfortable. We had suitcases. We yeah. had like, we need our own space. We need. Yeah, I, I can't sleep if I'm not comfortable. Yeah. I need to be able to wash my face. I need to be able to shower. I need to be able to have all my stuff. So yeah. one of our friends that offered us actually so sweet. One of my friends is staying at a condo and he said he could go back and sleep with his parents and we could sleep at his condo, but he has literally nothing there. It just wasn't gonna work for me. Like, I'm talking nothing, not even a garbage can there, <laughs> like, except like an air mattress. Mm -hmm. So I just knew we were gonna be uncomfortable there. And then our other friends said we could sleep over too, but they had to be out at like nine eight or nine a.m. and yeah. we were like so tired. Like, we just wanted to be comfortable. So yeah. I just started brainstorming like what we could do, Airbnbs or mm -hmm. hotel or whatever. So we found an Airbnb that we really liked that was actually like reasonably priced and it was a two bedroom. Everything it was Great really nice. Great reviews and stuff. Good reviews, but then it was booked. Yeah. Because we were trying to book for July 2nd night. The day we're moving, the day we found out yeah. there's no electricity and AC is the day we were like, okay. Okay, we need someone to stay. Literally at like late to like at six or something. I we were like, we need someone to stay. Yeah, six or seven or eight. We were yeah. like, we need someone to stay tonight. We're homeless. So. <laughs> No, literally. <laughs> literally, we did not have anywhere to stay. So then Airbnbs were just like not working for the night of. Yeah. Like you need to book Airbnbs more in advance. They were all gone for the night of. Yeah, So Which makes I, sense. Right? I was just like brainstorming hotels and stuff that I knew were like cute. And I don't know, basically we thought of a hotel that I had been at in high school and whatnot. People, I don't know, people always threw parties yeah, there Yeah, it's a stuff. popular chain. It's a popular chain. So I just thought of that. So we literally... <laughs> On the phone and stuff, everything was making us go on hold and stuff. And we were just like, honestly, enough is enough. We just walked to the hotel. We were like, let's just book it, whatever. We just walked into the hotel. I'm like, we need a suite for tonight. What are your rates for one bed, two bed? We got a two bed. We're like, A plus B, staycation. A plus B, staycation. So we found a hotel actually very close by to condo, the yeah. new condo, and just like our friends and like things we had to do, places fun, fun we had area. to be, fun areas. So whatever, we found like such a good hotel. We're really happy. We had mm -hmm. two big we beds. We love it. We had an amazing sleep last night. So guys, it's Saturday, July 3rd. 3rd, and yesterday was July 2nd moving day. So we had such a good sleep last night, everything, and we decided to book it for another night because, well, her... Bree's new condo still has no electricity. Yeah. I see, guys, it's a whole thing. Like, we're and so I still mad. My foot's asleep. My foot's asleep. <laughs> I hope this video yeah. makes sense, guys. On the bright side, Bree and I are happy girls. We're happy. We're not actually complaining about the hotel. Mm -hmm. We kind of are, but we're not. Yeah. We're living our best life at this hotel. We're having a great time. So much fun. The beds are so comfy. We're having so much fun. Even throughout all this moving and shenanigans, Bree and I have been in such I've been a good mood. Bit. I was running in the rain with furniture. I was yeah, smiling, we were, I was laughing. We were in the pouring rain, no, moving pouring. it up, but we were laughing the whole time. I don't know, everything happens for a reason. We're literally having the best time ever. We've mm -hmm. been eating amazing. Everything's been amazing. A you plus know, B staycation. A plus lit. B staycation. A plus B staycation. Basically, guys, we've been moving and packing, unpacking all day, and then at night we go, you know, party with yeah. our friends and meet up with our friends, whatever, have the best nights, and then we come back, sleep in, unpack for hours. Yeah. We're on, like, no sleep. That was our uh, we are homeless. Yeah. Our moving experience. We are we were homeless for a weekend story yeah. time. It's a fun story to yeah. tell because it's just such a moving hot mess horror story. It's like, but what? But it's okay. It's fine. But guys, I hope you enjoyed Bree and I's like we are homeless weekend story time moving out horror story. I don't know who knows what this we call it. Yeah. But I love you guys. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn post notifications, subscribe because we're on the road to a thousand. <laughs> I'll obviously link Bree's channel below and everything like that. But we love you. We gotta go out. <laughs> <laughs> Bye!